In this video, we are going to review the dashboard. The dashboard is a new feature for iConnect POS web version 4.0. You access the dashboard by clicking on the dashboard from the left side menu panel. Once you're on the dashboard, you can access so much information. You could access your income information, clients, schedule, um, and easy access to register tickets, booking, and customers. Um, and how you would do that is just by clicking on, let's say, the register box or the ticket box. Um, it will take you to those locations, all from the dashboard screen. Also, we have information here if you're interested in uh, signing up uh, with our merchant process processing services. And also, if you're interested in hardware, you can visit um, our POS portal and check out hardware from, from there. Let's look at the eye icon here for information. From here, you can access our tutorial. And on our tutorial, we have a lot of information. We have information on the register, booking, customer management, inventory management, subscription management, etc. Lots of good information there. We also have our FAQ area, and then we have our number listed here for your convenience um, for support if need be. We're going to visit the gear icon next, so let's click on that, and this is where you could change the look of your application. So let's say you wanted the skins to be green and the nav bar to be blue and the sidebar to be red. You could do that all from here, and then click set current theme as default to save those changes. I'm going to go ahead and set mine back to blue. Next we have uh, the American flag icon here and by clicking on that this is where you could change uh, to various languages. Um, we have English, Spanish, and French that can be selected from. Next this is where if you have multiple sites for your business and you want to toggle between different sites. Let's say you have a store in your town and a store in, in the next town over and you want to check some information for your other store, you could do that by selecting it from this drop-down list. Next, we have employee information. When you authenticate to the application, your information will show up here in the upper right hand corner. And so for an employee that comes in, they authenticate to the system and now they want to clock into the system, they would come over here, go to time clock, enter in their check-in information, email and password or badge, and hit clock in. They would also follow the same process when it's the end of their shift and it's time for them to clock out.